In this video, we're going to focus on the force of gravity, the normal force or support force, and tension. In many situations, um, most situations, when working with Newton's second law, we're going to draw a specialized picture called a free body diagram. I'm going to use an example of a box that is resting on a floor. And the first thing I want to do is I want to draw all the forces that are acting on the box. When you do this, you're creating a free body diagram. And the first force I usually always draw is the force of gravity. The force of gravity always points straight down. The notation we use for the force of gravity, you can use Fg, which I've seen. It's also known as the weight of the object, which we covered in the conceptual video. And on top of that, we also learned in the other video that the weight of any object is equal to its mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Another force that's acting on this object is the force that's supporting it. Some texts will call this the support force. I'm used to calling it the normal force. In math, normal means perpendicular. And so the normal force, which we'll call Fn for force normal, is that support force. And the thing, the reason why we got to know about this perpendicular stuff is because in the case of this box, the normal force points straight up. And it's not always the case. If this box were on a slant, you know, if we had a hill and you had a box on that, the normal force, the support force would actually be perpendicular to that surface. So the normal force is not always straight up, but it is always perpendicular to the surface. On the other hand, gravity always points straight down. I'm going to just label this mg. I would say 90% of the time we will label the force of gravity mg because when we create equations from these drawings, mg is usually the most convenient thing. Let's look at an example that uh, of a box sitting on a surface like that. The first thing that we are going to try to find here is I'm going to I'm going to give you some numbers. The mass of this box is 10 kilograms. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out what would be the size of that support force. Anytime you see a free body diagram, you are going to use this diagram to create an equation. And the equation that we are going to create is a form of Newton's second law. So Newton's second law says that the net force is equal to the mass times acceleration. Now in the conceptual videos, we, we solve it for acceleration because conceptually it makes more sense that way. But for the practical purposes of what we're doing, you're going to see F equals MA quite a bit. Once we write this down, this whole left side says the net force. It's the vector sum of the forces. I have two forces here. I've got a force pointing up, the normal force, and I got a force pointing down, which is the weight. Now the net force would be the positive force minus the negative force. So I'm just going to substitute for the left hand side of this equation, normal force minus mg equals ma. Every free body diagram will lead to an equation. In this case, now we can look at our object and say, first of all, this object's not accelerating, it's sitting still, which means that this side of the equation is going to be zero, which says that the normal force minus the weight equals zero. And that means that the normal force is equal to the weight. So now all we have to do, plug in the numbers, 10 kilograms for the mass and 9.8 meters per second squared for the acceleration due to gravity and we get 98 newtons. So the normal force is equal to the weight. Is this always the case? No, it's not. Let's do an example where it's not. In this next example, we're it's an add-on to this, this first example. We're going to add in another force. This force is going to be the force of a hand pushing down on the box. It's going to push down on the box with a force of 40 newtons. Now we want to find out what the normal force is. Now in this case, we have added an extra force into our diagram. That needs to be reflected in the equation we come up with. We're still going to start with the net force equals mass times acceleration, because you always start with that. Now when we substitute for the left hand side, we have to take all the forces in consideration. I have one up force, the normal force, and two down forces, this applied force and the force of gravity. So that means I'm going to write that the normal force, which is in the positive direction, minus the applied force, minus 
the weight equals ma. And once again, we are not accelerating the box by pushing it. It's still sitting still. But when I go to solve for the normal force, now it's going to be equal to the weight plus that applied force. And we learned before that the weight was 98 newtons, so I'm just going to make that substitution. And our applied force is 40 newtons for a total force of 138 newtons. So by pushing down on the box, the only thing we've really changed is that now the support force has grown to accommodate that push. The floor has to work a little bit harder in order to support the box if you're pushing down on top of it. Kind of makes sense, I hope. Let's take this further. Now what we're going to do is we are going to attach a string to the box and lift up. Now what you've seen that I've drawn into my free body diagram is an arrow labeled FT. The T stands for tension. Tension is the force that you get when you use a rope or a, a stick or a pole or a rod or whatever, a chain to pull on something. And now we've drawn it into our free body diagram, which means it's going to affect the equation we get when we use Newton's second law. So now I have two upward forces and one down, which means I'm going to make tension positive, the normal force positive, and weight negative. The sign reflects the direction. And now I have MA, which again is going to go to zero. And that's because I neglected to mention this, but our tension force is also 40 newtons. So before I push down with 40 newtons of force, now I'm lifting up with 40 newtons of force. So what's going to happen? If I solve this for the normal force, I'm going to get that the normal force is equal to the weight, but this time minus the force of tension, that's going to be 98 newtons minus 40 newtons, which is 58 newtons. And now we see that the normal force is less than the weight of the box because by pulling up on the box with the piece of string, we're kind of helping out the floor, so to speak. The floor doesn't have to work as hard to support the box because we've effectively helped out by lifting up on it. So now you see that the normal force is not always equal to the weight. And that's a really important thing for us to understand.